Hi all, my name is Ellen. My channel is Ethereal Flows. I've been hooping for about four years and I'm also a hoop dance instructor. Um, I wanted to start a Hoop 101 series just to go over a few basic moves because I remember being really overwhelmed personally when I first got started with hooping. And today we're just gonna be going over a few different kinds of escalators. Let's get started. All right, so the first type of escalator I wanted to go over is a bottom to top escalator. Let's start with both feet in the hoop and I'm holding my hoop with some space out to my left side here. The hoop crosses in front of my ankles. You can do it on either side. Um, so this one is super simple. All you're doing is pushing the hoop up and to the right, so on a diagonal. I'm using my left hand to push. I want to have my right hand by my face to catch the hoop so the hoop doesn't hit me in the face. And that's all there is to it. Um, you can also do this one with just one foot in the hoop. It would be the foot in the same side you're pushing with and you just want to pick up the opposite foot as you push. Um, and if you notice just now, rather than catching the hoop up by my face, I caught it by my waist. I tend to catch it there because I find I have an easier time transitioning between those. So we're gonna go over two more kinds of escalators. So that was our bottom to top. Now we're gonna do top to bottom. So there's two top to bottoms. One is gonna be going forward like so. And one is gonna be going back. Well, let's start with the forward one. So what you're going to do, you're going to hold your hoop up high and to the right. And you're going to start to swing the hoop forward. And it's going to cross at your forearm. I'll come in a little closer. You can see. As soon as I feel it hit my forearm, I'm going to let go. And let it come down my body. And I'm catching it with the opposite hand here. So I let go with my right, catch it with my left also tilted my head just slightly to the side to give the hoop a little bit more room. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it for the other one. So while we're going backwards, same thing, I'm going to start holding my hoop up high and to the right. And rather than swinging it forward, I'm going to swing it back. But again, it's going to cross right at my forearm, kind of close to my wrist. As soon as I feel it touch my forearm, same thing, I'm gonna let go. This time, I'm catching it with the same hand that I let go with. So starting with my right hand and ending with my right hand. And again, I'm just leaning slightly to the left to give the hoop a little bit more room to come down. So I'll show you all three again. So here is your bottom to top. Here is top to bottom going forward. And here is top to bottom going backwards. I hope that's helpful. Um, escalators are a really great way to build your flow. Um, I find that I always have some room for them in my flow even now. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in. I'm planning on making another video for transitioning in and out of escalators so you can look out for that if you're curious about that. For more flow related content, you can check out my Instagram, Ethereal Flows, my Facebook page, Ethereal Flows. Thank you for tuning in. Bye bye.